Hello there, faithful few. And welcome back to DMS Adventures. Where we think it's heavenly that we're on number seven. Lee. That's right, you faithful few. This is our seventh ever backpacking endeavor. So in the Bible, the number seven typically implies completeness. There's the seven seals in the book of Revelation. There's the seven trumpet judgments, the seven bowl judgments. And then of course, creation was done in seven days. Does that mean we're done with backpacking trip? <laughs> so I hope that doesn't mean that we are complete in our backpacking endeavors since we've done seven. Uh, but, but then again, in the Bible, the number eight implies new beginnings. So on our eighth ever backpacking endeavor, hopefully we'll do something even crazier. So we are in Brown County State Park again, but we are hiking some trails that we have not hiked before. So in Indiana State Parks, if you want to get a campsite on a weekend and you want to reserve it, typically you have to reserve two nights unless you reserve it the day that you're coming. So got online this morning, reserved ourselves a site and headed on down to the park. So once we got here, we checked in, grabbed some firewood and dropped it off at our campsite. So it will be there for us tonight. Then we got back in the truck, headed to the trailhead at the West Lookout. And yeah, and then got our packs on and we hit the trail. We are on trail eight and we got about three miles until we get to Ogle Lake, which you've probably seen before if you've watched previous videos. And then we got about another 3.2 miles to the campsite. So this will be our longest hike with our backpacks on. Rugged Mountain Sister is using her Osprey Cirrus, really for the first time fully loaded. <clears throat> and she has, I think it was 12.83 pounds, which is about just under 13% of her body weight. Rugged Mountain Mister is sporting his tarn. He has about 6.5 pounds, which includes Elsa. Meow. And he is at about 15, a little over 15% of his body weight. And Rugged Mountain Dad, I am sporting the Granite Gear Crown 2. And this is the first time I've used it fully loaded. So we're gonna see how all this does. And I'm at, well, the backpack itself is filled up to about 22 and a half pounds. My chest rig here, it's got about an additional four and a half pounds of camera gear. And so that adds up to about 26, 27-ish. And then with water, I think that puts me over 30, which is more than I like. We do have a beautiful day though. We are in the upper 40s with sunshine. And I think we got about, we're supposed to get down to around 30 degrees tonight, 35. So take a look at what we're hiking through here. So we are sort of taking a slight detour in order to get our six miles, which will be, I think, twice as long as Rugged Mountain Sister's ever done, and only one mile more than what Rugged Mountain Mister has done, because he did five miles at Turkey Run State Park on our fifth ever backpacking endeavor. faithful 
fusel brake number one occurs at 1.09 miles. Rugamont's sister needed to shed her coat. I'm still debating. It's cold, but that sun is warm and the hiking obviously is warming us up. So decisions, decisions. So we're gonna just take a quick break and load back up and keep moving. Alrighty, here we go. Catch up to the Rugged Mountain siblings. Oh my goodness, they're way up there. Fantastic. So the other thing I'm doing different this time I was just trying to save on weight was I did not bring the gimbal. I brought a tripod, a ball head, and that was it. Hopefully the Galaxy S10 Plus's image stabilization does the job. Okay, so we've got our first issue. It says the trail, 8 to Ogle Lake is closed. Left trail eight, and that is that way. And you know, they're not thinking that people are walking around their backpacks and it's a big deal to walk back the distance we've already come. So we're gonna have to make a decision. But how are we gonna get to Blake? That's a good question. Oh, here comes some people, maybe we can ask them. Okay, so we just talked to some folks and they came from this way and they said the bridge was out, DNR's working on it, and they got another little board set up to walk across the small creek that this goes over. So, should be good to continue. Oop, oop. Here's where the bridge is out. Did you try? Did you almost fall and die? They're just floating? Yeah, I was about to step on it and I was surprised my shoes didn't get through. Like my toe went all the way into the water. Rugged Mountain Sisters wanting to cook for lunch. She brought her own cook kit this time. And we are going for some classic spaghetti with meat sauce. Just unfold those things, they all fold out. Pull the bar down. Okay. There you go. Then swing them around. That's satisfying. 
and then flip your those things out yep and then that has an automatic lighter on it so just turn the valve on and click the button That's promising. Our mountain sister joiner spoils. Tore that up there. Lunch is over. Potty breaks were had. And we are back on the trail. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, our first leg of this next area starts off with a big uphill climb. I mean, again, big for Indiana. We're going on, Mister. Coming up behind me. We're going on, Sister, leading the way. Before we came on our seventh ever backpacking endeavor, we made a trip to REI as the Rugged Mountain's sister had outgrown her hiking shoes. And I was looking to try something different than my big hiking boots. So we went up there, Rugged Mountain sister got herself some Brooks. By comparison, I got my first pair of Ultra Lone Peak dry runners. We also picked up some mountain house meals and some peak refuel meals. We have got the chicken Alfredo peak refuel meal to try tonight. We are at about 3.30 right now. Still a beautiful day. Lots of up and down going on. Royal Mountain Mister still killing it. Though I think he's getting close to psycho stage. Heading up some hills again. Rugged Mountain Mister's killing it. He's way up there. This has been all uphill. I'm dying. Found his trail legs. Jump in! It's the perfect size for you. It's a kiddie pool. I mean, it even has a nature slide. It's nature.
Red Sister, what do you think of the peak refueled chicken Alfredo pasta? It's really good. It's delicious. The chicken and noodles are really good. So if you haven't tried it, you should really try it, even people who aren't backpacking, because it's good home meal. Ooh, bunny, I think. Anyway. Bring him out, mister. What'd you think of the peak refueled chicken Alfredo pasta? He doesn't eat it. I really like it. What are you eating instead? Gumba and um, some of the real things. And I made this meal, so I get the most of it. <laughs> we got our Trekker 3 set up. We got our sunset going on back there. And We've got our fire ready to go. Peep pills. Guess what? I didn't have to blow up mats. I, had, I got to use a pump. We've got a new pump, courtesy of watching Dan Becker's channel. The sissy doesn't have to use her lungs to blow up all the pads anymore. We decided to come down and check out a playground. Watch out, mister. Got the sun setting back there. And the playground is up ahead. Oh, look here, it's an old school metal slide. And torch your legs on it. Tire swing. Slightly rusted old school metal slide. Nice. Rugged Mountain, Mister. What? Ice cream sandwich. What? Ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna a mint ice cream sandwich. <gasps> a mint one. See that greeniness? Mm. And a That's cocoa in the Rugged Mountain, Mister Cup. That's his. Sissy's dipping. It's actually really good, Dad. You should try it. I have planned on it. Oh, all right. Because it makes it softer, more like an ice cream sandwich. Is it good? Daddy, you're videoing! <laughs> yes, I'm